What is that thing? It looks like a giant plant. Look out! It's too big! There must be something we can do! Jill! Aim for that flower! I'm sure it's dangerous. Got it. You better be careful, too. Oh, Plant 42, a Resident Evil classic that even in the original game didn't make any goddamn sense, has returned to Umbrella Chronicles to once again show us that this game has taken the concept of an on-rail shooter, applied it to a survival horror game, and has not accomplished adding anything to anything. And once again makes us ask the question of why did Capcom bother? I'm sure that Nintendo appreciated getting something licensed for the Wii, but again, corporations don't work like that, so I question the existence of this game. 
and sort of this boss fight because it introduces something that's going to be more annoying as time goes on and that is countering boss projectiles because that usually never works out that well because there's usually too many projectiles for you to shoot in the amount of time that they give you and you end up taking damage anyway and since it's just a part of their attack repertoire it usually just happens every few turns or so as again umbrella chronicles just takes away the control of the camera and movement away from the player whenever the game feels like it i do appreciate that this revisit of this classic boss does capture the spirit of it being confusing and kind of hard to deal with because in the original that didn't have the fidelity it was kind of hard to see the weak spot and even in the remake or the remake remaster it's still kind of hard to see a little bit better but it still doesn't really make all that much sense what's going on the obvious point is that plant 42's weak spot is on the side of the bud in the middle of it and you have to avoid the poison spitting nozzles that it has growing out of its face if it had a face and that's pretty much it. When I did the original boss fight in the original game, honestly, I was able to get through it with like six magnum shots. It was kind of oddly easy for what I would suspect would have been the, one of the more difficult points of the entire game, but you live and learn. Umbrella Chronicles does ramp it up a little bit, add in the frequent times that you are just thrown on the ground and have to deal with the projectiles and the grabbing tentacles and all that jazz before you get another chance at the weak spot. It kind of has a lot of health, it takes a long time to kill because you don't get that many opportunities at its weak spot since you have to run up the stairs and on the side scaffolds that the residence has for whatever reason. And then you have your chance at getting the weak spot before Plant 42 grabs you again to redo the whole cycle all over again. Like fighting Ivan back in the Resident Evil Zero Revisit chapters, it is an incredibly repetitive boss, the attack pattern doesn't change, and it just gets more repetitive, more annoying as you start losing health and losing patience as time goes on. It doesn't do Plant 42 justice, and even then in the original it didn't really accomplish the potential of having a plant monster to the full degree because you know it's a survival horror game so you sacrifice a lot of what you can do design wise just on the back of the incredibly obtuse combat system of course the unreal shooter had a chance to fix this not entirely but it could have made it more intense more engaging and really it just turns it into another obligatory time sink like most bosses in the new mario series not really something to get all excited about, except for the nostalgia credit that it has. Not really anything to stand out, satisfy, or do much more than anything other than fill time in this game. It's kind of weird how many bosses in this game actually do that, but then again, the bosses in this game don't seem to have actually been planned out or thought out all that much.